So I've been, I've been in. Hey, what's up, guys? It is uh, about 11:30 on uh, Wednesday night. This is quite the storm we got going on here. So a friend of mine actually gave me a call yesterday and asked me if I could come out and uh, drive a skid steer for him to help with uh, some snow. Cause I guess the guy who normally does it is uh, like down south in Colorado. He wasn't able to make it. That's why I am out this late doing this. So I'm gonna hopefully get some uh, footage of me and the skid steer and all that stuff and then uh, I'm gonna cut away at about 8 a.m. Thursday morning. Go do my my properties. This is the worst snowstorm that we've had this snow season, so it's actually pretty exciting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how much snow actually does fall. I think they were only calling for three, but I think there might already be three inches right now. Maybe four to eight, pretty big storm. I guess we'll see once the uh, snow stops. I think it's supposed to cut out around between three and five, I think. We will uh, see you guys when I'm in the skid steer. The roads were uh, pretty bad in spots. Yeah, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, no accidents on my way. Traffic was just backed up because everyone was kind of behind the snow plows. I hate snow, I'm ready for spring, ready for summer, but I'm glad to uh, at least be out doing something, you know. We'll uh, catch you guys back in a bit. What? This is Jason from my YouTube channel. Oh, it's feeling real good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, what's with this snow? Dude, right? I heard three inches. Oh, yeah. It's like eight oh, almost. Yeah. yeah. Is there more up here than at your house? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I think because it probably started snowing up here more. Yeah. But uh, the roads were bad up until I got to about like a little before I-70. Okay. Then they kind of started to clear out because okay. I think the plows had that's, already gone through. Yeah, that's what. But uh, the, that wreck was gone. Good. So. Yeah, that's what uh, Keo was saying. Yeah. Yeah. But holy crap! <laughs> yeah, so it's a real big lot. Um, Is it all of this? All of this, all the way to that, uh, to the nails, and then all the way down to the street. Okay. I'll send you a little site map, and then. You see the underneath the street light, the big pile over there? Uh-huh. So one pile there, one pile here, and then on that side, all along the wall, we can pile up. That's it. Okay. So like everything from around the post office has got to come around here. The inches raised need to come in. So yeah, we can start a pile here. We can make another one here if we had to. Okay. Um, it's just kind of hard in between the lines, you know? Yeah, and I was just running that skid for a couple minutes, and the goddamn fuel regulator just turned on and it shut down for a minute. So, what does that mean? Might need a fuel filter. Is it okay to run? Well, it won't run without the fuel. I, I can go get it in a fuel filter, put one on. Oh, I'm like son of a bitch. Jeez. Right. Where is it? Where is all your stuff? Oh, it's up in Firestone. It's up in Costco. It's There's a over. skid here. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's on the other side there by the church, like. The guy that does the maintenance here, he's got a little shop over there, so like there's cameras and shit. It's all like safer over there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And if someone wants something, they'll take it. Camera be damned. That's it, man. No matter what, you know? <laughs> that's true. They'll take that shit. Really I mean, I guess it helps if you're trying to like identify if you get a license plate, but. All it does is keep honest people honest, man. Yeah. But the nice thing is, he's in and out throughout the night, so at least there's some movement there, you know? Well, yeah, let's cruise over there, see if that skid's gonna fix itself. <laughs> had the same problem last storm with the other skid this one was running okay so yeah i'm just damned if i do damned if i don't you know yeah yeah i gotta get out here at like eight no worries man i mean anything you do will help yeah because I'm, I'm not looking forward to the drive down south in the morning right <laughs> boy man it's been a while yeah. huh I haven't come out here with you in years right 
Yeah, a couple of years, maybe three or four years, huh? Oh, I think it's been longer than that. Maybe. Four or five? Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's the been a while. Yeah, hospital, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because we lost, you know, f***ing Tony. <laughs> Wasn't doing the best job. Well, yeah, we lost that one, and then I picked up a couple others, and then, yeah, I started here about five years ago. All right, I'll just follow you. Yeah. cold out there snowing you can see huh little update this uh bobcat right here uh fuel filter he needs to go and uh get a fuel filter and swap it out because i guess there's a lack of pressure water in the fuel filter or something like that but yeah as you can see that's the snowstorm that we're getting right now it was supposed to be like two to four, but now they're calling it uh, six to 10 when everything's all done. Hey, how are you? Hey, what's up? Do you think, do you guys work with the uh, ski stairs? I, I will, yeah. Oh, okay, so I can make a little pile somewhere there and you push with the machine? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I do. Uh, I, I don't know exactly where piles go, uh -huh. but as long as I see like a big giant pile, okay. then I'll probably know yeah, where I to push it. But by that, that end. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yep. What is your name? Marco. Marco Quinton. Quinton. Nice to meet you. you this place is big. And I think he's got that truck that uh, just talked with him, Marco. And uh, Jason, he's got that, uh, he's got his truck with the plow. But I'm just good. Like I said, I'm going to help him out for uh, eight hours and then uh, take off and go do mine. I think this is supposed to stop, I think between 3 and 5 a.m. this morning. And I'm pretty far north in Denver, Thornton. It was like uh, 23 miles from my house. And I'm not looking forward to the drive back down south in the morning. Man, it's been a while since I've driven one of these. Got heat, windshield wiper. One I used to use when I was with Jason, the skid steer that he did have for that, the heat didn't work very well, so it would, like your upper body would be warm, but your feet would be like ice cold. February 25th, finally got a decent snowstorm. Hold that, I'll try to twist that fuel filter, you ready? There we go. Okay, you can let go. Let me get the new one. The next couple of days are going to be busy, huh? <laughs> For you. <laughs> yeah. Watch this guy on YouTube. He's uh, up in Minnesota uh -huh. and uh, he posted like a video last week and he was, they were going out to uh, prep their equipment for a storm and someone had stolen their catalytic converters on their trucks. <laughs> About 1.30 I think. Jason got the filter replaced and he just got done taking me on a tour of the property. Man, this place is huge. I'm gonna be here uh, almost kind of like by myself with uh, skids. We'll get some time lapse. All right, see you guys.
got like five hours left here, and I don't think I'm gonna get through it. But like I said, I'm helping uh, I'm helping a friend out, and as long as I get something done, it's uh, less stuff for him. So I don't know. I might stretch for a few minutes because I've been sitting here for like two hours, and then uh, get back to it. So. Catch you in a bit, guys. Hopefully, you guys can hear me okay. Turn the throttle down on the Bobcat. Shoot, I don't even know what time it is. 5.48. So, got about two more hours left here. Um, as you can see, like all this stuff, there was, a, there was a pile like way, way, way down here that I had to move all the way there the guy who was on a plow i think he's like a subcontractor but he uh jason doesn't know him but this guy was just making like these huge 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 piles of snow uh for me to push so you know i had to like take small chunks just because i was as i was like coming down this area I would start sliding because it was just uh, there was just too much snow uh, so I've been I've been in this I've been in this part all the way over here uh, since I got here since I started which was around like 1 or 1 30 I just think that's a little too long but all this stuff is like maybe a third of of the whole uh, parking lot complex. So yeah, I think I'm done over here. But next I'm going to start over here and start moving those piles over to uh, this part over here. See the sunrise behind me? The uh, moon just uh, set just right over there about maybe 10 minutes ago. I don't like sitting in skid steers. They're cramped. It kind of sucks to uh, try and get out and stretch. Like sometimes I was getting too hot and then I would turn the heat down and then I would get too cold and then I would turn the heat up and I'd get too hot. It stopped snowing maybe about an hour ago. Now the sky's clear. Then I'm going to do mine. I think I have six. Get those done, go home, let my dogs out, feed them, and then go to bed. And then take a shower. All right, guys. We'll catch you later.
It's a lot of snow. It's funny because like a couple weeks ago, they called for three to six and we got quarter of an inch. Then this storm, they said two to four. There's got to be 14 to 18 inches. Uh, I'm at my third one. I got three left after this. That Toro 821, doing pretty good in this stuff. The snow is nice and light, so I think that really helps. If this was March or April and we had this much, I don't think it would do nearly as good, but it's rocking. All right, I am going to uh, bust this one out and hurry up and get home because I'm getting kind of tired being up all night. We'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey, what's up guys? It is Friday and I realized I didn't do a proper ending for this video, so that's kind of what this is. First off, my hair has been getting kind of long, so ended up just getting a haircut. Pretty short. It feels good that it's not all in my face. When I was doing my residentials yesterday, it was getting a little warm, obviously, you know, shoveling all that snow and stuff. It just like kept getting in my face and sweat dripping down and all that stuff. I just said, nah, screw it. I'm gonna go get a haircut tomorrow. So that's what I did. Anyway, just to show you some uh, decent melting today. It's a little chilly right now. I think it got up to 46 today. I think it's supposed to be uh, 50s and stuff next week. A lot of this stuff is gonna be melting here soon. I don't think there's any snow in the forecast for at least the next week, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video. I can't remember what all I got as far as footage goes, but I know I did get some of me in the skid steer this snowstorm was pretty big. I think all in all, the areas that I was doing was about 14 inches. It's not uncommon for uh, Colorado to see stuff like that. Every now and then, we don't get that much snow typically in one snowstorm. But it was nice, you know, made some good money. I'm sure if we get a uh, another big storm, I wonder if, you know, some of my customers might end up calling me, wanting me to do it instead of them doing it. Just want to say thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like that button and subscribe and click the notification bell for notifications on when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and uh, we will catch you in the next video.